Pikmin 4 has seen massive success since its release in July 2023. Its sales in Japan during the first week have been more than the previous three games combined. Yes, you heard that right. At over 400,000 copies sold in the first week, Pikmin 4 is not only the best seller in the series, but it is also outselling some major titles in just its first week. These are physical copy sales, but if anything, the gap is going to be larger when they include digital sales. Not only did Pikmin 4 have an amazing first week, but the game is continuing to sell well, with it having the top spot in sales since its release. And it's even got a sale going on in some countries right now, meaning the sales are only going to go up. This success can be attributed to how the release of Pikmin 4 was done. And I don't mean making the fans wait for 10 years before releasing it, or getting people confused about if Hey Pikmin was the fourth game or not. Pikmin 3 was released in 2013, nine years after the second game, and it didn't do so well. So large time gaps clearly don't equal large sales. So don't make us wait another 10 years for Pikmin 5. You got that Nintendo? One of the major reasons for Pikmin 4 doing so well is the game being on the Switch. Nintendo's best-selling console in quite some time. The Nintendo GameCube wasn't really performing very well at the time, so it makes sense that the first and second game didn't sell super well because of this. The third game was also on Nintendo's worst-selling console, the Wii U, which is why it didn't do so great. But then you throw it onto the Switch and look at the difference. So, the Switch is successful, but that's not the only reason why Pikmin 4 has done so well. The previous games didn't really have the best advertising, it was pretty standard overall. I mean, I know Uta outsold Pikmin 1, so I guess the game helped advertise the song, but that's really the only unique thing to mention from the previous three games advertising. Whereas with Pikmin 4, every piece of content that has been released for the past three years has contributed to its success. It all started in 2020, when some Pikmin short films were released a few weeks before Pikmin 3 Deluxe's launch at the end of the month of October. These animations weren't new, but most people had never even seen them before, so it did garner a lot of new attention. With this attention, it managed to bring more eyes onto Pikmin 3 Deluxe, and therefore, got the sales to go up. Now there were some Pikmin fans that were upset about getting this port instead of getting Pikmin 4, but it made sense to me. A low-risk Pikmin release, where you add new things like a side story mode, and quality of life improvements to make it better than the original, all while bringing new fans in. The following year would release Pikmin Blue, which was pretty well received by the community overall, but more importantly, it got a lot of downloads. And a lot of downloads brings a lot of new people into the lovable world of Pikmin. A full year of app updates later, and then Pikmin 4 would finally be announced. This wouldn't be the only announcement though. A couple months later, there would be Nintendo's first Direct trailer showcasing the Ice Pikmin. And then in June, just one month before the release, Nintendo would start to go crazy with their marketing campaign for Pikmin 4. It started with another Nintendo Direct trailer showcasing the Glow Pikmin. Additionally, the Pikmin Garden website as well as other websites would get major updates at this point and they're still getting updates to this day, at least at the recording of this video. The websites and Nintendo Direct trailer wouldn't be the only thing Nintendo did though. There would be a bunch more trailers and teaser videos released over the next few weeks. Not only that, but they also ported over the first and second game onto the Switch, allowing anyone to easily play the first three games, assuming you're not broke like me and have the funds of course. Not only that, but a Pikmin 4 demo would be released for free a few weeks prior to the game's release, which just made fans go insane since they could actually play Pikmin 4. Nintendo even put their YouTube banner to Pikmin, meaning all of their subscribers who clicked on their channels would see Pikmin. You could just tell they really wanted it to do well. The last thing that was happening at the same time, which wasn't really directly related to Nintendo, but it was related to the community, and it was the numerous amount of videos coming out from content creators. All of this put together just created the perfect storm for Pikmin 4's release and success. So why am I bringing all this up? Well, it shouldn't come as a big surprise, but if Pikmin 4 continues to break records and sell well, the future of Pikmin's franchise is looking to be quite secured. Simply put, we could expect to see Pikmin 5 released in the next 4-6 to six years, like other big Nintendo IPs. Still a long time I know, but at least it's not 10 years. Regardless, 
Pikmin 4 has been a blast to play, and I've just been super happy with everything that's been going on in the past few months. Pikmin 5 is definitely going to be a while away, but who knows? We might get other spin-off games before the next big release thanks to how much Pikmin has grown in the past few months. I don't know what the future holds for Pikmin, but it's looking quite bright.